Hello, I'm Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today, we're looking at the presentation points, the things that you want to get across in your presentation, whether that's to an audience of one or an audience of many. So why are points important to you? And why are they relevant to your audience? That's where we have to start. And what do you want to get them to do afterwards for you? Let's have a look at the first slide, which is about concentration and interest. Now, in, in many presentations that I'm sure you've been to, and very possibly some that you've done yourself, um, you'll recognise that the traditional pitch is um, pretty much um, uh, the interest level um, of your presentation goes up as time goes on. But the audience has high concentration right at the beginning and that dwindles off as time goes on. The optimum concentration and interest level sits between the two. Now that's not a particularly great place to be really. So in terms of creating interest and create and keeping concentration, we have to look at the way that we're putting the structure of our presentations together. Because really what we want it to look like is something like this, high level of interest, high level of concentration over a given period of time. And at the end, of course, we want them to commit to doing something that we want them to commit to. I've chosen Andy Bounds JOLTS because I think it's a really useful mnemonic. And JOLTS stands for judged by objectives, like doing, and the time frame. Judged by asks the question, how is the audience judged? How do their superiors or their customers judge if they've done a good job or not? Generally in business, people default to seeking to do well in the areas where they are judged. Objectives simply means that their business and their personal goals, what are they looking to achieve? Like doing covers what they like doing not just at work, but in their spare time too. And time focuses on how much or how little time they have. The reason this is so important is that if your audience is short of time, and let's face it, most people are, time is often their overriding priority when deciding how to act. So when we're creating um, a, an impact in our presentations, we want to start with real high interest at the same level that their concentration is at. We need to empathise with them. We need to jolt them. Think how they judge, what objectives they're looking to achieve, what they like doing and what their time constraints are. How many jolts you want to put into your pre presentation depends on how, many, uh, how much time that you actually have. So in this presentation, we start with a, an immediate jolt. We follow that with three more jolts before our closing statement. The value of three in any presentation is quite high and you'll find that um, that triage will come up time and time again in top tips. So it's worth considering now what your three key things would be that you would like to put into your presentation. So now we need to create some jolts. Here's some examples on this slide. But what you need to do is to sit down, brainstorm all the points that your audience 
would benefit from from your particular offer or service and you're thinking about what they would get from this so you need to stand in their shoes and once you've got that list then start to narrow it down because actually we want to identify the one key element that you must get into your presentation and that needs to be the first thing that you, you offer, your first jolt. Giving away the best thing at the beginning keeps people's interest. Then you have uh, an exercise to have a go at creating three key points for your next presentation. It will take some time. The key thing about presentations is, is that they can't be done last minute. You really do need to give some thought to them beforehand and it can't just be done in your head because again, you need to give some thought and some practice to getting the message across so that it sounds smooth and it sounds natural to you. So have a go, download the templates from the Hidden Edge website. Do share your stories there too. Many thanks to Andy Bounds for his, um, his uh, jolt um, explanation from the jelly effect. And uh, until next tea break, enjoy this one.